Diana here with Minnesota, the Mexico. Um, let's see, I've been in the hospital four days with a stomach infection. Um, just found out from the doctor I'm free and clear. Clean bill of health. Um, he said about 30% of people who come to Mexico for the first time um, get really sick. And it was not Montezuma's revenge. It's just your immune system just can't handle everything that's thrown at it. So, and I also, I had done something to my knee and it opened up a wound and maybe uh, that's where the infection got in. Who knows, doesn't matter. I was really, really, really sick. But uh, four days in the hospital got me back on my feet. And then when I got back on my feet, then my feet decided they didn't want to work because I've been wearing flip-flops and, and uh, no arch-type shoes and my, um, my arches kind of collapsed or whatever they do. So I've uh, been in bed, staying off of the, my feet as much as possible to get, to let the inflammation of the tendons or the ligaments or whatever your arches need to do to recuperate. So today is the first day I've actually been out and about and walking without pain. <laughs> oh, welcome to my Mexico because it's not other people's, that's for sure. Uh, having a good time still. Uh, went to a restaurant this afternoon that I had been looking at since we got here and I thought it was a farm to table kind of a restaurant. It's all open air, it's all outside. Uh, it's all open air and it's all outside and wonderful, wonderful um, uh, ambiance. I really liked it, other people wouldn't necessarily want chickens running around between your legs and stray dogs or the local resident dogs running around and no air conditioning and there was no porta potty but if you know what an outhouse is yeah that was the uh, you know pretty primitive <laughs> i mean we're talking pretty primitive but uh the food was good uh i figured I don't know if we'll be back. It was pretty primitive. But um, but I figured with me all, all loaded up with, oh my goodness, my voice, all loaded up with all the antibiotics, I figured I could survive. Um, it was pretty good. Um, seeing lots of people there at lots of different times, so I knew that, you know, the food was, well, I knew it was semi-safe because they say if there's always a crowd then the food's generally safe to eat so but just let you know i'm alive and well and kicking we're having a good time brian's been out fishing hasn't had nearly the luck he did the first couple of days but he's going to keep pursuing it so we will talk to you later and remember god's good love you bye-bye